Hey folks, it's chilly out here in southeastern Oklahoma, so we're gonna make some, so stay tuned. Welcome back guys. We're going to share with you a chili recipe today. And so right now I've got two pounds of deer meat ground and I've got one pound of sausage. Okay. And I'm going to hurry up with this onion in there. So we're going to, we're going to dice this onion up a little bit here and just get it kind of a rough, rough dice in there. Okay. It's a wide onion. You can use a, uh, you can use a, a sweet onion, like a, like a yellow onion or a white onion, whatever you want to use. I guess you could even use a purple onion if you want to. But uh, I'm just going to do it like a rough chop because it's going to cook down anyway. I'm going to get it in there. Get it start cooking down with that meat. So again, we've got, we got two pounds. You can use ground beef. And we got a pound of pork sausage, just this homegrown pork sausage. Um, our deer meat is has been uh, processed with... Uh, about 80 20 beef fat and deer meat together so we're on a propane burner outside and so there you go we're gonna kind of let that cook down some more make sure our burner it's kind of windy today it's still on it's still good let that cook down so let's talk about chili for a minute so chili uh for us is it's the first thing i started making uh, as a young man i wanted to make chili i wanted to try chili and cooking chili so there's so many different ways to make chili. This is, can be a conversation that some folks are passionate about in our area. Uh, but chili can be with beans. Chili can be without beans. I got a buddy, uh, Steve Taylor, who says that chili with not, without beans is just hot dog sauce, right? You can make it with beans. You can make it without beans. And I know I'll get arguments and comments on this, and that's fine. It's all fun and games. But, but chili uh, can be all kinds of ways. I usually put beans in mine. I love mixing some sausage in my chili. To me, it gives it a little bit of just different flavor, okay? Um, I, I use like a tomato-based kind of chili. I put Rotel in it. We'll show you all the ingredients in a minute. I love putting two different kinds of chili powder in mine. Ancho chili powder and this regular chili powder, okay? I love that. Um, but you can put uh, all kinds of different things in your chili. I'm going to show you a basic recipe. I will say this to you right now. There's a good chance in my lifetime, I'm 44 years old, that I have never made chili twice the same way in my entire life. I'll say that right now. Like I said, we make it once a week and, and I'll do something different, a can of this, not a can of that, every time. So that's just how it goes. So I want to share with you kind of a basic recipe and through this process, we'll talk about how you can switch it up and change it up. So stay tuned. Okay, so our meat is done. It's good and brown. Cameron, come take a look at this meat. All of our onions have nice and translucent we've got garlic powder in there i didn't have garlic cloves or i would have put some garlic cloves in there but i seasoned the meat up a little bit that sausage really helps with that seasoning of the meat i'll make some salt and pepper in there and some garlic powder in there okay all right so here's what we got here's my rundown today if you'll check it out okay so we're just going to pour this in there all right and so we're going to start off sometimes i use two kinds of beans sometimes i use no beans sometimes i use use ranch style beans which is basically pinto beans uh with some more seasoning in there so we're going to start off with this pouring this in there we got uh, some some kidney beans and chili sauce all right it's good thick stuff we'll put that in there i did not drain this meat because there's really hardly any grease in it if you're using ground beef sometimes you got to drain it so keep that in mind two different kinds of chili beans ranch style which is a pinto and then a kidney bean we got a large can of Rotel, okay, put that in there. We've got a large can, I say large, I mean it's a, it is a 28 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes. I like them. And we're using tomato sauce, same size on that. So it filled it up really well. I am using a cast iron uh, Dutch oven today with no legs. This is a cast iron Dutch oven that's well seasoned. So you gotta be careful sometimes using a uh, cast iron Dutch oven uh, that's not real well seasoned because tomatoes 
is uh, is acidic and can really kind of do uh, a number on your season. But this is well, well seasoned. I've had this since I was probably, I think it was the first Dutch and I ever. Dutch oven I ever had. It's probably had it since I was around uh, 18 years old or so. So there you go. All right. There it is. Look at that. Pretty good consistency. Really thick chili. I like that. Really meaty chili. That's why I like the, the three pounds. And now comes the part hard for me to tell you about. And so what we're going to do here, we're going to do some seasoning. Okay, so I've got chili powder this is going to be the taste guys it's going to be a taste i just kind of like i know my mounds so i'm gonna make a mound of this like so okay i'm gonna make a mound of this other this is kind of hard to find i get this on amazon it's really good stuff i use it even in my pinto beans sometimes just a little bit i don't use a lot in my pinto beans we're gonna do that right there and i like to put cumin in my chili usually a lot what taco seasoning is made out of i don't put a ton in there but i like the a hint of it in there anyway so we'll call that good all right i'm gonna stir this in kind of really just incorporate it really good fold it up if, if you will now to thin chili out i have been known to not use tomato sauce and i've been known to use tomato juice actually believe it or not it works pretty well and it it'll make a thinner chili uh make it go a little further if you will um you can put a can of beer in your chili half a can of beer in your chili to kind of thin it out a little bit you can put water in your chili to thin it out i don't think i'm going to chin uh, thin this out very much because i like how thick it is uh, so we're going to do that i want to add a little bit more of this chili powder And we're going to let this cook down really well. We're going to toss a, a jalapeno in there just for looks and make it look awesome. That's a homegrown jalapeno from my cousin Mark and his wife Sean from Plano, Texas. She grows some good jalapenos. And that's one of our last ones left. So, All right, guys. We're going to mix this well. Let this simmer. I like to let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes to even an hour but we're going to taste test it too we got to get a taste test to see where you're at on seasoning so there you go guys that's what it looks like it's done it's done i taste tested it about 15 20 minutes in it was it was spot on i added a little bit more chili powder but probably didn't have to we're going to do the almighty taste test here see it blending well together really good consistency it's not too thick not too thin so I want to just get a little bit of bean here and a little bit of meat here and give it a little onion in there too. Yeah. It's fire hot. The spices are great. Hey, nothing beats chili on a chilly day. It's cold out here today. I think right now we're actually getting snow in Texas and we're up in Oklahoma. So that, that don't happen very often, right? So it's, 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 it's cold day. Man, there's so much you can do with chili. There's so many different ways you can go with chili. That's why I love it so much. Um, kind of like in the in the Cajun country, what they do with gumbo. There's but tons of different ways to make gumbo. Same thing with chili. Make it how you want to, and uh, start with this as, as maybe your base, and then just kind of go crazy with it, right? And, you, and 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 just enjoy it. It's a great food in the winter time. We never make it in the summer, but we always make it in the winter and the fall. So, hey, thank you, as always, for watching Horse Pen Ranch. We never, man, we don't take it for granted. We really appreciate you watching and commenting and liking it and everything. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. And until next time, we'll see you on Horse Pen Ranch.